Hey guys, in a previous video I showed you guys how to make these uh, tree farms uh, slash power plants um, using the Mine Factory Reloaded mod, the planter and the harvester and uh, I had a comment asking me to show you how to build the, the massive one I showed which is dun 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 right there um, so here we go alright, first of all Let's start at the basic parts. Uh, first of all, you're going to need to make some raw plastic, which is just rubber in a furnace again. And then plastic sheets, which is just for rubber, raw plastic, sorry. And then to make a factory machine block, which is one of the building blocks of the mine factory reload, you're going to need three stone and then three plastic sheets. So that's still pretty easy. And then for the planter, the machine block, a piston, clay, a uh, flower pot, sorry, that's made out of three bits of clay, it's pretty easy. Uh, and then plastic sheets. And then for the harvester module, get a little bit more expensive, but not that expensive. Plastic sheets, golden axe, two shears, and a machine block. And then, then you've got to decide how big you want the uh, plant to be. Uh, the default size is just 3x3 three three, which is that little tiny one over there. Uh, so there's all these little upgrades you can you can make to fit in the machine block. The first one is a lapis one which increases the radius by one. And then right at the end there's an emerald one. So it's quite expensive but it increases radius by 11. Now if we look at the other ones we have iron, uh, well, lapis, iron, Tin, copper, bronze, silver, gold, so forth and so forth and so forth. Now, these ones are fairly expensive because it's diamond, emerald, and platinum, right? However, this one here, the quartz one, is actually quite easy to get to because you actually find a lot of quartz while mining. And it's an increase of 8, which is a fair bit. So, if you want a big farm but you don't want to spend too much money, go for the quartz one. Okay, now, how... Do you power these uh, mine factory load? Well, you can fire them with MJ or EU. So, we've got one here. It says it's called MJ, but it is actually being powered through this bat box and uh, copper cable through a generator. Or you can use redstone energy conduits through Buildcraft. Um, it's the it's the way I use it, and it's much better than using gold conductive tubing. But you can use gold conductive tubing if you so wish. Okay, let's go over here. I've built the platform already. As you can see, it's a pretty big platform. This is the uh, the radius increased by 11 <coughs> using the emerald one. So we've got emerald. Um, I can't remember which that one was, but as you can see, this is the default one. This is lapis. However, this one out here, I think, is... I think this one here, just before diamonds, is actually, I didn't have um, the right block for it, but basically this is the quartz area, so you can see, quartz is a big difference. Okay, to start off, you're going to need to place your planter under the soil, you're going to have the trees, and it's going to need to be in dead centre, uh, and then inside the UI, what you're going to need to do is you need to put your... Uh, upgrade module in there if you choose to use one um, and then get the saplings you want to use and start chucking them into the squares okay there we go that one that one that one that one and that one <laughs> okay and then you want to run a an NG line uh, whether it not be a copy cable or all the other ones I told you I've got red conduit here and then you're also going to need to run a uh, some kind of transport piping to it so the the tree saplings will cycle back and then on one side you're going to need to put in the middle your harvester module with the square facing backwards for the output then you're going to need a diamond pipe uh, and then have it so it will 
split arc wood, the arc saplings, and apples, because arcs will give you apples. These saplings will go back to the planter to be replanted. The wood will carry on down here to go down to a powered furnace. You can use a generator, not a generator, um, and a, an electric furnace or anything like that. And then the apples will go to a chest. Um, I've got a redstone energy cell here to store power. And then what happens is the wood from the harvester will come down to this powered furnace. Okay. And then it will produce charcoal, which will then get to a steam boiler, which will create steam. And then these hobby steam engines will then create energy. Now, you can use a generator or any other, other kind of a power generator, which uses a charcoal. You can even burn wood directly if you felt like it. Um, and if we just look at this, we can see that the trees are getting planted, they're actually growing. And as you can see, there's energy, zero work. Zero work because the upgrade module, see this thing can only see three blocks in front of it, so put that in there, increases the upgrade radius, and then it should, 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 should start, there we go, it'll start harvesting the trees, get rid of the wood, and we'll see the, the stuff come at the back, saplings go back, wood goes onto the furnace, apples go to where apples should be in the chest. Oh, I should have put golden tubes in here to make this faster. <laughs> oh well, next time. Uh, do, 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 do. Time warp. And we're in the future again. Here we go. The oak's being transferred, turned into charcoal. Gets sent to the steam bore, as said before. And hence we've got this system powering itself now. You can see the saplings already on their way back to be replacing the ones that have been cut down. As you can see, the system goes quite fast when you've got it fully upgraded. Um, so eventually this system will actually uh, produce more wooden logs than this furnace can actually handle. Eventually, the powered furnace will start to overload with wood as well. You'll have to create another one. And because we've created a farm this big, you'll have to expand this out even further. And eventually your steam boiler will also get bigger and bigger and eventually you'll have to get that bigger make that bigger words use word steam you'll then have to create a furnace this big and you'll have to have these many furnaces or you'll have to upgrade the system you've already got but essentially what you can see from this is that farms this big create huge amounts not only are we powering the steam boiler at maximum speed, uh, we're producing an excess amount of charcoal. So, yeah. Okay, guys, if you've got any questions, uh, comments, requests, even, uh, leave a comment, uh, inbox me, whatever you will do. Stupid bat, you're going to die. Hey, hey. You'll live this time. Okay. I'll see you guys next time.